One of the new secrets Noita 1.0 added relates to a series of simple puzzles that teleport the player to hidden rooms containing spells and wands when solved. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to access these things, so obviously, spoilers. Let's go. The first of these has a 3% chance to spawn in the coal pits, making it extremely rare. But if you do run across a black cube with yellow writing, slow down and enjoy the air, since this is the meditation cube. When translated, these glyphs read, meditate, so do so. Standing still on the cube for 20 seconds will open a portal, taking you, interestingly, inside the cube where you can find a wand and perhaps the previous Noita who stumbled into this. The exit portal can sometimes be a bit tricky because it's easy to accidentally fly back in when trying to exit. Next, we head to the snowy depths where there's also a 3% chance for a structure to appear. That structure being this buried eye bearing a striking resemblance to the eyes beneath the holy mountain portals. You know what to do. Carefully remove the ice and snow to expose the cavity, and then spray some teleportadium or unstable teleportadium in there. Surprisingly, you won't need to fill it, just a little will do. Then hop into the portal, which will take you to what I'm calling the Frozen Ruin, where you'll find probably two fairly decent wands and the exit portal. While you can dig to these secret rooms, because the portal puzzles spawn so rarely, Here's a seed that contains both. The meditation cube is on the right hand side of the coal pits, and the buried eye is on the left hand side of the snowy depths. Enjoy. And now we get to the last of these secret portals. On either the left or right wall of the Hisi base, you'll find a narrow tunnel through the rock, leading to a small shop. But if you look closely at the ceiling, you may notice a room above it. You can easily dig through the normal rock above this crack in order to access the hourglass chamber. A magical hourglass stands in front of a strange cyclopean figure. Breaking the hourglass triggers an earthquake, so it's best to be gentle in here. The blood at the bottom of the vessel is a hint Pouring more blood into the glass will cause it all to soon turn to gold dust. But this also deactivates the magic of the hourglass, and since you'll only collect about 1000 gold, it's probably best to use teleportadium instead, which reveals this structure's other function. With enough teleportadium, a portal appears, and on the other side, the eye chamber containing an assortment of powerful spells. Again, once triggered, the magic of the hourglass dissipates, so choose wisely. Approximately 1,000 gold or potential powerful spells. You also don't have to drain the blood in order to trigger the portal, as Nala recently made teleportadium denser than blood, so you can pour it directly on top. Anyway guys, that's it for today's video. I have a lot more on the way covering everything, and there's a lot. Noita 1.0 added many, many things, changed many things, so I have videos coming showing all of these things. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.